Hallelujah, praise the Lord. My name is Connell. I'm a messenger and a prayer strategist. I'd like to introduce you to this movement of prayer. We're currently leading women all over the world to pray for the men in their lives. Whether it's a husband, whether it's a husband-to-be, or a serious relationship, or you're trusting God for a relationship, our goal is to encourage a culture of prayer in marriages and in upcoming relationships and even coming together. Our assignment is to make sure that prayer is said over in mind. Please join this movement. Join this movement. Let's do God's will together. Hello, child of God. Welcome to another day of prayer. My name is Cornell. Today we'll continue to pray for the man in your life. When I say the man in your life, I mean your husband, the guy you are dating seriously. And in case you don't even have, you don't even have a guy, you are not seeing any, any guy right now, you can still pray this prayer. Because the prayer for him is always a prayer of faith. It will locate him. Praise the Lord. We'll dive straight into God's word. The book of, we're looking at the book of Psalm, Psalm 84, verse 7. I'm reading from the NIV version. The Bible says, speaking of the children of Israel, while they were in the wilderness, it said, and they go from strength to strength till each appeared before God in Zion. They continued to move. The Bible said they were moving. They were moving from strength to strength till they, till they came to, to their feet. To the fullness that God has promised. To the, to the came to that place of fulfillment. That place of great achievement that God has promised. Right now, you are going to pray for the man in your life. That as he continues, as he moves from place to place. I don't know where, I don't know where you are, where you are watching, where you are seeing me from. Whether it's the morning, whether it's the afternoon, whether it's the evening. But whatever time you are prayed. As this man in your life continue to move, as he continue to move from place to place, as he continue to fulfill, to do what God has put in his hands to do, begin to pray for him. That he will go from strength to strength. He will go from strength to strength. He will increase from strength to strength. Pray that he will grow. He will not just go from that strength to strength. He will grow. He will also grow from strength to strength. His advancement, pray that his advancement will be from strength to strength. He will grow from one level of opportunity to another level of opportunity. Pray that breakthroughs will meet breakthroughs in his life. Pray that from today, as he continues in his sojourn, as he continues in his journey of destiny, that his strength will not diminish. That God will pray, his strength will not diminish. The activities that, that, that kill strength in the life of a man, you pray that they will not kill his strength. One of those activities, some of those activities are frustrations. They set him once in a while. Discouragement set him once in a while. Pray that these activities that kill strength will not kill his strength. They will not kill his motivation. Pray for him. Pray for him that the things that reduce strength will not reduce his strength. Pray. Separate this man in your life from every activity that reduces speed in the life of man. Pray for him. Pray for him. Separate him. Separate him from every activity. Separate him from every activity, from everything that reduces the speed in the life of man. Everything that will reduce speed. Everything that will reduce speed, that will reduce his speed, that will reduce speed in his vocation, separate him, separate him from them. Separate him, everything that will reduce speed from his work, separate him from those things. Separate him from everything that will reduce speed from the job. Separate him from those things. Pray, pray, whatever seed has become an advantage in his life, pray. Find that thing to fail. As the Lord to find it by spirit into fame. As the Lord to find it by spirit into fame. That seed in his life that has become an advantage, that has become a point of reference in his life. Tell the Lord by his spirit to find it into fame. Into fame. 
Finally, into fame. They pray that he will not lose his place of advantage. He will not lose his place of opportunity. He will not be disadvantaged. He will not be disadvantaged. Bible said in the book of Proverbs chapter 10 verse 28 that the expectations of the righteous results in joy but the hope of the wicked will perish. You are going to begin to pray that the hope of the wicked in his life in his day, in his today that it will perish. He did not see the light of day. You are going to begin to pray that his expectation will not be disappointed. All his expectations will not be disappointed. All his expectations will not be disappointed. Pray that the angels of God are released. Release the angels of God. We release the angels of God to assist his expectations today. We release the angels of God to assist his expectations today. We release the help of God to assist his expectations today. His expectations will come to pass. His expectations will come to pass. Every expectation of his heart will result in celebration. His expectations will meet the required opportunity. Every expectation of his heart, they will meet the required opportunity. From today, the man on your life, the man in your life will arrive at the right place at the right time. Palashida Palaske Ikala. He will arrive at the right place at the right time. Child of God is not enough to arrive at the right place, but you have to arrive at the right time. So we pray for the man in your life right now. We pray for him right now. He will arrive today. He will arrive at the right place at the right time. He will arrive at the right place at the right time. He will do the right things at the right place at the right time. He will say the right words at the right place at the right time. Pray over him. Call his name. That the hope of the wicked will not happen today in his life. Pray. We decree that the expectation of the wicked over him will not come to pass. Whether on the job, whether in his career, whether in, in his vocation, the expectation of the wicked will not come to pass. The expectation of the wicked will not come to pass. We decree that the devil will not have the last laugh over him. He will not have the last laugh concerning that matter. That he's in right now, we decree that the devil will not have the last laugh. Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are, with your hands to heaven, with your hands to Jesus, and just thank him. Friends, I appreciate you taking this time out to pray with us right now. This is what the Lord has asked us to do at this time. Please share the link with someone you know. Share the link with a woman that you know. You never can tell who these prayers are for right now. Please share this link. Share this link with someone. And you that, you that have subscribed, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We are so grateful. We're grateful to God. Thank you so much for your time. And God bless you.